I'm Jeremy Umansky, and this is Larder Delicatessen and Bakery. We are using a lot of these progressive techniques and we are creating approachable food. When we go and we create them, even though we're doing things that may be innovative or different, our goal is to present them in a manner that there's lots of familiarity to them. You know, when my friend John Anthony Sawyer had asked me to make a miso, I did some research, how do you make it, you know, what, what makes a miso a miso, and koji just kept popping up. And that led us to develop all sorts of really, really cool foods. When I tell you, you know, that we make it by bathing it in enzymes produced by mold for three days, and then it's, it's ready, as opposed to sitting in a brine for a month, you know, there's a big difference there. And we want, as chefs, the best quality product that we can source. And consistently, Certified Angus Beef delivers that. The steps that we take in creating our pastrami, uh, the first thing we do is something we don't do, and that's remove all the fat. Uh, fat is flavor, and pastrami goes through multiple cooking processes. And if we cut off that fat cap, uh, then the meat can dry out during those processes. So they then get a mixture of salt and this liquid extract of koji we make called amazaki applied to them and then it'll live in the fridge for, for three days, roughly. So we spice crust the meat, put in the smoker. We'll start off at a fairly high smoke point, but then we drop it to about 170. After that, we like the, the meat to chill overnight, and then we finish that with the final cook, and that's the steam, and then it's ready to eat. The steps that we take for making pastrami are the same steps that anybody else takes, but we have the added benefit of working with these enzymes produced by Koji. Our goal is to make something the most delicious and the best that we can make it. And in doing that, you know, we've created this pastrami that's just fantastic.